Cindy from Albany, New York, and I just want to share a prayer journal that I just finished. Um, this one, I did a few different things too um, before I start. The one thing everybody asks me is where all my images come from. They come from Pinterest, and they asked me how I got the scriptures on my images, and I used the program PZAP to edit the images. So, for example, this image here, the cover picture came from Pinterest and I added the scripture using the program PZAP. All right, so let's go. In the front here is a little tag and it says this prayer journal belongs to. And the other question I get asked a lot is where did that stamp come from? It was a gift from Hermie Linda. This is the stamp and um, there's the number if you want to call and have one made 877-391-6369 rubberstamps.net and this stamp here is a Tim Holtz bird stamp and on the back eBay I ordered a stamp of me and it says handmade with a bounty of prayers and I'll probably sign it um, for whoever I send this journal to. So that's the the front. The cover is just corrugated cardboard, three hole punches, and it's held together with dollar store twine. And I did something different this time. I actually glued the lace to the cover so that there's an actual closure. I don't know if I'll do it again. My cat goes crazy. Um, and has attacked the <laughs> lace a couple times but um anyway this one has a lace um, closure I got these bags from um, Rachel Odom thank you Rachel and that's just music paper that's glued to the back of the uh, the corrugated cardboard and this this tag came from Pinterest and I added the scripture in the day of trouble I will call upon thee for thou wilt answer me 80 Psalm 86 10 okay and then this is just a Pinterest interest or Pinterest image paper bag and this is a prayer I'm not a journaler so most of my prayer journals have lots of prayers and this is wisdom I got this from a healing book that I picked up and this is a card that I printed again from Pinterest and on the back it says I pray not wish because I have a God not a genie and another tag here Psalm 34 4 that should probably go back there and this again is another prayer last one was wisdom this one is peace of mind and this is a Pinterest inter image that I um, put Psalm 27 um, on and a little poem from a book that I got trust him and this is a dollar store napkin that I um, glued on with uh, some sheet music there and this is another image from Pinterest and again it's just glued onto a paper bag and I've got some stuff in here a poem never time and then here is a another prayer and this one I believe oh this isn't a prayer this is from a prayer book it's got scriptures on joy and in the back here I believe is another card and this one is Jeremiah 33 3 and like I said I'm not a journaler but whoever gets this probably is a journaler and they can journal on the back of the cards and the tags that are here and this is another 
image that I downloaded from Pinterest and I added Joshua 1.9 on there. And again, someone could journal on that. This is a napkin that I got from Carrie Kale. Thank you, Carrie. And I just, um, I just pasted um, a scripture to a paper bag and pasted that on top of there. Little girl, paper bag, sheet music, and this is just a paper clip with a uh, piece of ribbon that I used to hold on that um, girl. And Psalm 50, 15, I have on that tag. And these cloth little ribbon things I got it Tuesday morning, they were on clearance got them last summer a ball of it and this again is some scriptures on peace and this is another card here this one Psalm 139 14 and there and there like that let's see here I had this holding the card this paper clip Whoever gets this might decide to do something else, but it's got the paper clip for now. And this is a napkin that I got at Tuesday morning, and the girl is from Pinterest. This is a stamp, John 14, 27, and I just um, put it to a paper bag and decompoged it on there. Now this one, instead of the slits up here, I have them on the side. And there's a little booklet. This is just um, wallpaper that I got at a garage sale as the cover. Um, and inside it's got prayer request, the date and how God answered the date. And there's several pages of that. Um, I have one of those books myself that I keep. And it's pretty awesome because when you think, you know, is God really listening? And then you look and see... How many prayers God really did answer. Maybe not the way you wanted to, but the way he answered, it's pretty cool. And that's just a card. And on the back, it says, all it takes is just one prayer to change everything. And again, what I did is, um, the image is from Pinterest. And on the back, I just printed off the back. That image is from Pinterest, too. This here is a paper bag from the gift store of the hospital that I work in. And um, Lilibet sent me some envelopes and I just traced an envelope template. And there's some um, devotions that Leslie Spear sent me, um, copies of that. And so I have that in there. And this is a little girl, paper bag, and this little card here, I believe, is one of the Psalm 33, 3 that I just added. The image is from Pinterest. There's a poem, and this prayer here is for depression. And I thought that was appropriate since the little girl looks like she's laughing or giggling. This is a poem, and um, again, these images are from Pinterest. I just um, put two images, the little girl on top of the sheet music. And this napkin here, Hermie Linda sent me a gift of these napkins that I absolutely love. I love birds. Um, another copy of a poem, and I got on the mailing list of the... Salison inspirational books and they send me books of poems um, I would encourage you to get on some mailing lists Boys Town um, Salison they send you some really cool stuff you do have to send them an offering some kind of donation um, I usually send them a couple bucks um, every time they send me something but they send me labels and just all kinds of awesome stuff and that as another tag with Psalm 8610, another poem. This is another uh, 
This one I just tied a ribbon to. And it's a lady, lady image that I got from Pinterest. Psalm 104.34, I added the scripture. Um, Carrie Kale sent me this napkin. Um, Rachel also sent me um, some of these napkins. So I'm not sure if this napkin came from Rachel or Carrie, but I love, love my birds. And again, that's a scripture attached to a paper bag. And this here, another uh, girl. And this one here is um, God's Care uh, Prayer. There's also, um, here are some copies of devotional pages that um, are in there. And what do we got here? Some more, um, some more poems. Here's some more prayers also. Um, this one is Anxiety. I believe this one might be um, Trusting God. And these are prayers that um, I copied from a, a book that I got. And then this is just um, a Pinterest interest image. And um, it's an envelope that Rachel sent me. And there's a tag here. Thou, oh Lord, are full of God full of compassion. Um, and that's basically it. I am going to add a few zines. Um, I have some zines that I made. Um, whoops. This one here. Um, this one here has um, all the I Declares from Joel Osteen. And so I'm going to be putting that in here. Um, and as well as another one that has um, some devotions. Um, and this one has some poems that come from the Salison um, Prayer of Hope. And so anyway, that's my prayer journal. Um, I know a couple people have asked me to do tutorials. Um, basically, I just save all my little things that I get in the mail and I make copies or scans and um, these, these are just um, copy paper that I've coffee dyed. I rip them in half, rip the pages in half so this is a half sheet and then I fold it, put three hole punches in and then I just layer um, stuff and I leave a I leave spots either here or on the side so I can add stuff in and that's how I make my little prayer journals I hope you enjoyed it watching my little uh, video and feel free to comment um, and God bless bye bye